I'm at the Unique store right now. It is Wednesday, so it's actually not 25% off day. I do have a rewards coupon to use, which gets me 20% off of my purchase. But I just got done with the auto mechanic. I just spent over $600 on replacing some shock absorbers for my car. So the goal today is to try and find over $600 to replace that payment. Hopefully we can find another Milwaukee press tool, which will cover everything. But if not that, we need to find a lot of things to get to that $600 mark. Just to show you guys here, this is my receipt, total parts, total labor, $282.99, $238.25, $521.24. We got uh, hazard material disposal, shop supplies, and sales tax. $601.05 was my total. Let's go find some money. Here is the unique store. See a whole lot. Apollo 13. Pink Panther. There's one VHS I've always been looking for, and it's Cars. One of the most expensive VHS tapes in the wild. Still have never found one. Alright, let's check the tools. Black and Ticker. A whole lot of tools actually. Alright, but you've just found these Nikes. They look pretty old. Uh, as you can see here, it's an okay shape. But they're like these Nike SBs, purple color. They're asking $9.29. I think they're real. I don't know, it's kind of coming off there on the tag. But it's an old tag, so I don't know, to be honest. What do you guys think? Do you think they're real or not? Because comps are pretty crazy on these. I'll put up some comps to show you guys. Also found these Olakai Mio Lees, size 13. Also 10 bucks only. This one I know probably goes for about 30 to 40. So taking a shot on that. Might decide on those Nikes as well. They look legit. There's some minor yellowing, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Is the stitching off? Is this real? Or is it fake? Let me know. We are in the men's section. Just found these. Okay, a little rough on the little end pieces, but I do have a little lemon piece. I think that says 1029. It's like a black joggers. Men's medium tall is the size. Medium tall. I was looking at the hats here. I found this cool Mercedes AMG like F1 team hat. They went 549. Might go for like 20 maybe. Then found a Polo Ralph Lauren pony hat. I haven't found a Polo hat in a long time. 449. I think this usually goes for like 15 to 20. Uh, also found this Nike. This sweet Nike golf like rain jacket. Half zip, full long sleeve. They want $13.99 for it though, but it's like really cool. I'm tempted to keep it for myself. Anyways, that's what I've picked up so far. Just found something else. A pair of First Ascent. It's kind of fading a little bit there. But the pants are still in good shape. $34, $32, $7.99. These usually sell pretty quickly. Usually you can get like $25 to $30 pretty quickly on these. They are fleece lined, so maybe it's not the right season for it. But... I think I might still grab them for eight bucks plus 20% off. So one thing I want to mention about golf pants. So if you find Adidas or Nike, they usually don't go for a whole lot. So $13 is way overpriced to try and resell these because they don't go for a lot on eBay. You could probably get 12 to 13 maybe, if even that <laughs> on eBay. So it's just not picking up uh, Adidas or Nike golf pants. If you can get them for cheaper, then it might be worth it. But for 13 bucks here, not worth it. All right guys, I'm in the bag area. I found this Louis Vuitton bag. I don't know if it's legit, but it feels really nice. They do want $17.99 though. It's got these little like metal Louis Vuitton things. Here's the inner tag. It also has these little like accent pieces that has the logo. So I mean, looks pretty nice. 
does have some wear here, but I think it's from regular, normal leather use. It doesn't feel like it's like peeling off like fake ones. I might take a shot on this for $18. 20% off though, so it'll be like 15 Again, I don't know anything about Louis, but this might be a big score if it's real. I'm over by the new racks of clothing. Found this men's Wallace and Barnes 3530. 1379. Great brand to look out for. They sell really decently. I sold like a new one of these for like $90. So comps on this goes for about $40, maybe even $50. This is in really good shape. Button fly, no rips or tears. I think I'll grab it. Guys, look at this piece here. This thing is so big and heavy. They want $60 for this. I don't know if this is supposed to be Bob Marley. It says like Vincent Moore on the back. Here's what the back says. Vincent Moore, Jamaica, 1999, $60. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a cool piece. All right guys, just left the unique store. Spent over $75 there. So ended up buying quite a bit of stuff. Uh, but we're gonna go hit up the Salvation Army now. and see if we can find anything there. All right guys, family store. Salvation Army. Did not find anything at the Salvation Army, but I did go to a Savers now. Okay, looking at the shoes, found these Hoka's. But they want 19 for them, and it's a little too worn on the bottom. Otherwise, I probably would have picked it up. Just a little too worn for me, a little too expensive too. And there's a little rip there, so passing on those found these Echo golf shoes. It does have spikes on there, just a little dirty, but overall not too bad of shape. Only $6.29. Probably looking at about $30, $35, I think. So, I think I'll grab these. Found another pair of Hoka's. Same price. Does have a tear on there as well, so. I don't know if this is the same size. Nope, 12 and a half. If it didn't have that tear, probably would have been worth it. But still $19, though. I'm gonna pass. Oh, I got some tigers. Tiger Woods golf shoes. I'm gonna look these up. Okay, these are in decent shape. Not too bad on the bottoms. 19 bucks, I get 20% off, though, so. Might be worth it. Saw so comps go for about 45 to 50. Might get a triple up there. I think I'll give it a shot. Or at least hold on to it for now. <laughs> we'll see. Right, I'm in the women's section now. Found these hokas, but again, torn up. What the heck? And getting all ruined. Mm, a pair of Kizzik's. Kind of dirty. Kind of worn. Oh. I see a pair on clouds. And only $5.79. And a pine cone. These are in great shape and only under six bucks. Women's eight and a half, definitely grabbing these. Make sure there's no holes, yep. Get rid of this pine cone. <laughs> On clouds for under six bucks plus 20% off. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can find more. Found another pair of Hoka's. These are in pretty rough shape too. And more heal damage. For 15 bucks. Who's gonna buy these for 15 bucks? Some damaged hokas. These are kind of cool new balances. 696. I don't think they sell that well though. Got some um, Adidas here. Pretty dirty. What are these? Are these Las Vegas? Don't remember the names. Pretty big size, size 10. Oh, these are men's. Let me look these up. South Rig was pretty bad on those Adidas, so I'm gonna leave those behind. Uh, but that's it for the women's section. Mario 3. I think they want like 190 for it. Got these sunglasses, found three of them. First one is a pair of Persols, eight bucks. Another pair of Persols, eight bucks. And these are a pair of Ray-Bans for eight bucks as well. I think I'm gonna grab all three. Comps probably like 40 to 50 on the Persols. Not sure on the Ray-Bans, they look vintage, so I'm gonna have to do some more digging, but I'm gonna grab them for eight. Hey guys, I don't know if you guys can hear me, it's kind of windy, but 
but spent $47 at Savers today. One pair of those Prasol should pay for everything, actually. And then we're going to go hit up one more stop, which is a nearby Goodwill, and then call it a day. So not too bad for a Wednesday. I've never really gone out on Wednesday, usually for thrifting. Let's go check out the Goodwill and see what else we can find. Just turn things off with the women's shoes. A pair of Hocus. I think these are Clifton. Clifton 8. They look okay. It does have some wear on the bottom. 13 bucks. Not too bad. Oh, these are Hocus too. These are Clifton 4s. A little bit older model. They also want 13. I don't think those go for as much. I'm gonna look these up. Passing on the Hoka's actually. South Rate's not the greatest, but just found these Vapor Maxes. We have to confirm, but bubbles look good. Wonder if they still sell. I haven't found one of these in a long time. Let me look them up and see. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave the Vapor Maxes too. Just like South Rate's really low on those, so it's only been like one sold for that size, so for like 40 bucks. But there's like 15 listed, <laughs> so. <sighs> Unfortunately, gonna have to pass. Look at here, guys, only 199 each. It's probably like $100 million right here worth of Beanie Babies. I'm gonna leave it for you guys. Everybody just left the Goodwill. Only picked up one item, actually. Kind of a cool little Hello Kitty music box. Not sure on value, there's a couple similar ones that sold for like 40 bucks. Spent uh, $5 on it. Kinda take a risk since there's no exact sold counts, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Here's the box I was talking about. It's got like the punk rock Hello Kitty on here. It's from 2003, $4.99, Fantasia tune. And if I open it up, Kind of a cool little thing. Oh, looks like it still wants to keep playing. And that's it. <laughs> the little whiners on the back here, as you can see, it does work. So no exact comps. I'm gonna have to do some research on it and see, but there are a couple other similar ones that were like gothic Hello Kitty. <laughs> that's over 40 bucks. So figured I'd give it a shot for it. Only five bucks. All of the stuff that we picked up today, I spent a total of $128.53 on everything. And the goal for today was to try and get $600 to pay for my car shock absorbers. So we're going to have to make up the $128 that I spent plus the $601, I think. $602 for the shock absorbers. So we're going to have to make $730 basically to cover everything. Let's see how well we did. So I put a few things on the table here. This isn't everything that I picked up today, but a lot of the better items, I would say. Went to three different thrift stores, went to the Unique Store, Savers, and a Goodwill. The only item I picked up from Goodwill was this right here, this Hello Kitty music box. It was priced at $4.99, so I think I paid $5.30 something after tax. Might be able to get 40 bucks for that. At the Savers, we did pick up the three sunglasses, these Ray-Ban, uh, Aviator style. They're called the Vanguard, I guess. $7.99 here. This one did not have a case. But these are like vintage Ray-Bans. I looked up some comps. I could get over 100 actually on these, which is pretty sweet. They just look really cool though. I don't know. They don't fit my face that well, but I like the style. Maybe I'll just start collecting sunglasses just for the heck of it. <laughs> Eight bucks, maybe we can get a hundred for that. So that'll put it up to maybe 140 there. And then the Persol glasses, I actually found the cases as well. So I ended up paying a dollar a piece for the cases. But Persol is a great brand to look out for. Paid eight bucks a piece for both. And they look to be in really good shape. I don't think I saw any scratches. I'll do a wipe down to see. But with Persol glasses, you can actually see the model number on the temple. There it is, 3059-S. Great lenses. These are actually polarized. If you can see the lens 
there. There's a little P after the Persol. That means they're polarized, so it actually reduces glare. I actually like this kind of style as well. It's kind of like a Wayfair, like a Ray-Ban Wayfair style. Probably can get like 50 to 60 on these glasses. And then the other pair are these right here. Again, same kind of style. This is the black version. It also says polarized there. 3135-S is the style. Probably looking at about the same thing, 50 to 60 on these as well. A couple of nice pickups there. I actually used to work at a sunglass hut, so having that knowledge, I know what to look for when I'm looking at sunglasses. Persol is a great brand to look out for. They make really good quality sunglasses. Ray-Ban is probably the most well-known one out there. You can probably usually find those, but they usually get priced up. I've seen it at the Unique store. They price those up to like $30, $40. A couple of great brands to look out for. Maui Gems a pretty good one as well. I have a personal pair of Maui Gems. Oakley's are pretty nice. Some of the designer ones are okay. They actually retail for a lot. I don't know about the resale value for the designer ones like Dior, Versace, Bugari. But if you want like good quality glasses, Persol, Ray-Ban, Maui Gems are a couple of my favorites. Oakley's are kind of hit or miss. They're more of the sporty looking ones. And a lot of times with Oakley's though is that they get faked more often than most other sunglass brands. So just watch out for those. Try and pay attention to the quality. If it feels fake, it probably is fake. But yeah, just wanted to highlight a couple of those glasses for you guys to maybe look out for in the future. They get overlooked quite a bit uh, at thrift stores. So if you guys see like a sunglass section there, maybe Double check it and see. Back to the process here. So let's say nine bucks a piece plus tax. So probably about 10 bucks a piece for the glasses. Probably looking at about a hundred. So let's just say a hundred bucks there. So that's 200, $240. We'll come back to this bag because I'm not sure about it. We're going to do some validation with this one. But also that savers, I did pick up these on clouds, which were only priced at $5 and 79 cents. I think these are the cloud swift. These are probably looking at about 35 40 bucks at least maybe even closer to the 50 given this condition i just sold a recent pair for like 35 dollars, so at minimum 35 maybe even 45 and then i picked up a few items from the unique store i wanted to go over these right here these nikes uh not sure if they're real or not i'm gonna have to probably send them over to check check to see but they're only priced at 9.29 again i had 20 percent off of everything from the savers and unique store takes says 2008 i saw some comps sell for over 100 on these maybe even like 120 ish so i mean conservatively i would say maybe 100 bucks if they are legit if they're real and then i got a pair of wallace and barnes i just found these as i was leaving the unique store on one of the new racks 13.79 was the price wallace and barnes great brand to look out for i think they do collaborations with j crew or it's a j crew line i don't really know to be honest size 35 30 just a blue pair of like pants here like hiking pants got the button flies really good shape these have been going for about 50 45 to 50 i would say on this pair and then we have this louis vuitton bag now i rarely pick up louis vuitton because they are faked so often these just felt a lot better than some of the louis that i felt so i decided to take a shot on it the stitching looks decent here the quality of the bag itself looks decent it also had these little tassels here with these metal balls i mean there is definitely some wear here which does happen over time but the stitching itself seemed very consistent and in decent shape, actually. So that's why I took a shot on it. It is one entire piece as well, which is why it looks upside down on this side. As you saw, I paid... It was priced at $18, but I did get 20% off, like I mentioned. Came down to $14.39 plus tax. The inner label also says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in USA. Here's the inside of the bag. It seems to be in decent shape. There is some, like, dust and hair in there. But, like, overall quality seems pretty good from what I can tell. It does not feel cheap. I would say that. If it is real and legit and authenticated, I saw comps go for about two to 400. 400 being the higher end, better quality. Do you guys think this is real or fake? I've never bought one of these before. I have seen fakes out there and I know what they feel like and this feels a lot better than those. But these are some of the highlights here if this is legit. Let's just add like 100, 200 bucks to this. 580 we're close to the shock we do have the other stuff too which i did mention got a pair of eddie bauer pants these probably only go for like 30 25 to 30 lululemon probably another 30 bucks as well a couple hats there so 
Maybe we can make $700 on everything here. We'll see once everything sells. But I think we actually picked up quite a bit of things and quite a bit of good things. Ender Thrifting Tiger here. Just wanted to give you guys an update on actually two items. The first one is actually those Nike SB Dunks. I did send those off to Check Check to have them take a look at it and try and authenticate them. And the results came back as fake they're actually not real and i was having doubts about that one quality of the insoles just didn't seem right i was duped i guess uh the outside seemed pretty good as far as i could tell the suede seemed okay the outsole seemed okay i ended up taking the insole out you know you take photos of it and send it off to check check and then i realized the stitching wasn't that great as well so unfortunately those are not real a good thing is that the unique store does allow a 14 day exchange for shoes and clothing so i'm probably going to be taking those back and try and find something else next thing i want to go over was that louis vuitton bag uh that one i actually had to send to the legit app i've sent a couple of things to the legit app as far as designer stuff goes and they've come back actually pretty decently i've had a couple items come back one did come back as fake one came back as real but i did send off the louis vuitton photos to them did have to pay ten dollars for it they do some sort of credit system each credit is a dollar depending on the item it could cost ten dollars it could cost a five dollars kind of depends on what product they are going to be reviewing for this one it was a luxury handbag it was ten dollars for a 12 hour results return so it's not too bad i wasn't in any sort of rush or anything like that you can get it done quicker for more money but i did the 12 hour one and it came back within two hours so they were really fast about it so if you guys ever do use the legit app i'll have a link down below in the description for you guys i would suggest just doing the 12 hour one as long as you're not in a hurry to get your results back quicker i would suggest just doing the cheapest option because they are usually pretty good and pretty fast about it so it came back within two hours and the results are the bag is authentic. It came back as legit Louis Vuitton handbag. This is the first time I've actually found a real Louis Vuitton in the wild. Like I said, it felt good. It felt legit. Felt like good quality and my instincts were right. But we did find a Louis Vuitton bag in the wild for $15. <laughs> Pretty crazy find there at the unique store. Probably looking at about maybe... $300 is my guess as far as value goes. Most of them actually have been selling from Japan for some reason. I don't know. There's maybe not too many of this style in the U.S. Maybe I can price it up because of that so that people can save on shipping for people in the U.S. Pretty satisfied that it came back as authentic. And I do trust Legit App. Like I mentioned, they're really good about their authenticity. But let's return to the video. Did we make our goal or not? I don't know, to be honest. We're really close to it, though, I think. Maybe around the $700 mark, maybe just missing out on our goal to cover everything that we paid for, plus the shock absorbers. Also, none of this stuff will be part of the $5 challenge. This is a separate challenge for the shock absorber that I just got replaced on my car. Tune in, I will give you guys an update for the $5 challenge shortly. We are getting really close to our goal of $1,000 in profit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!